Good morning, Tigers. Today is Tuesday, January the 26th. Good morning, Mrs. Matthews. Good morning, Mrs. Miller. Good morning, Tigers. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Today is Gratitude Day, and yesterday began the Great Kindness Challenge. And so at, here at SOEC, we are committed to spreading kindness this whole week. That's where extra... Sometimes we feel lonely. But we're not alone. We have the power to join together with kindness. We are kicking off a great event. The National Great Kindness Challenge Week. What started with three schools in Carlsbad has spread across the world. For 10 years, over 16 million kids have joined the Great Kindness Challenge, and you're a part of that. So go out and share your joy. Your kindness definitely matters. So many people to thank. Now is the time to spread your love. Kindness has the power to unite us all. video that was great um we actually have some kids at soec that are have taken on the great kindness challenge and we were going to share with you some some things that they did um we have one student i think the challenge for um monday. For, for monday was to be kind to yourself and um so it looks like this student they they created a hand and and the student wrote uh, on each finger something that they appreciate about themselves, that they like about themselves. Cause you should always be kind to yourself. And then another student, this is Noya. It looks like she did something similar. Looks like she wrote uh, about things that she appreciates about herself. It looks Absolutely. Like and things that she's grateful for, like her family. Yeah. And her home. And they made a little hand with a heart on it. So that's really, really nice. Just thank you for everybody for being kind. And like it said in the video, share your joy and spread love and kindness has the power to unite. Today, Tuesday is be kind to your parents. Today's challenge is tell your parents that you love them. Make them a card. Complete a chore without being asked to do so or share a snack with them.
Some ideas for today's activity is to take a sheet of paper and cut it into four pieces. Write positive messages on each one and draw pictures if you like. And then hide the kindness cards around your house and wait for people to find your messages. And you see some examples of some ideas that you can do here on the screen. And now for an update on our Kids Heart Challenge. I want to say thank you to all the boys and girls. And you can see here all our students that have partic are participating in our Heart Hero Challenge. So thank you for signing up and for your participation. Yay! All right, so for the class that has the most students registered, we have in first place, Miss Mozinia's class. And in second place, with most kids re registered, we have Miss Erfalian's class. And tied for third, we have Miss O'Malley, Miss Curtis, and Miss Spiro. Those are our third place uh, classes for the most kids registered. Wow. Everybody. And is it too late to sign up if you haven't? It is not too late to sign up. I think we can show the website that you go to. Um, we'll scroll that along the bottom so you guys can see the, the website. You just go to the website and then when you choose your school, you write in Sherman Oaks Elementary. Don't write the word charter, just write Sherman Oaks Elementary or Sherman Oaks and uh, the school's name will come up and then you can register there. Okay, it's some of you may have heard, but over the weekend, a famous baseball uh, legend passed. And here to tell us a little more about his life is Miss Matthews. So this is Hank Aaron. Hopefully a lot of you have heard of Hank Aaron. His name was Henry Louis Aaron, nicknamed the Hammer or Hammer and Hank. And he was an American professional baseball right fielder who played 23 seasons in Major League Baseball from 1954 through 1976. And he spent 21 seasons with the Milwaukee Atlanta Braves in the National League and two seasons with the Milwaukee Brewers in the American League. Aaron was regarded as one of the greatest baseball players of all time. His 755 career home runs broke the long-standing MLB record set by Babe Ruth and stood as the most home runs for 33 years. Mr. Aaron's life was not always easy. He faced much hatred and bigotry as a black ball player chasing the record of baseball legend Babe Ruth. People said and did unkind things to him to try and prevent him from playing and enjoying his passion for baseball. Hank Aaron never gave up and always remained professional and kind to others, even when it was very difficult. He was known for playing the game of baseball with extraordinary grace and skill. And his number was number 44. Hank Aaron was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982, and he, this is amazing, he was nine votes short of being the first unanimous choice ever, meaning almost everybody voted for him. And in 1999, the Major League Baseball League created the Hank Aaron Award, which is still given annually to the best hitter in both the American League and in the National League. And on January 8th, 2001, he was presented the Presidential Citizens Medal by President Bill Clinton. And he also received the nation's highest civilian honor, which is the Presidential Medal of Freedom from George W. Bush in 2002. Mr. Aaron was a civil rights advocate and a champion of underprivileged children. Hank Aaron has shown our country the thrill of victory and the importance of giving every American an equal opportunity to strive for it. With something to think about, this is Principal Miller and Mrs. Matthews. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.
is yours.